hi guys welcome back welcome back to my channel if you would like to support this channel all i ask is that you hit up the like button and subscribe that's all thank you for the support so you guys know who jodeci is if you don't know jodeci is an r&b group and their biggest hit is forever my lady written by albie shaw for kim porter when she was pregnant with quincy well a jodeci member was added as co-defendant in diddy's sexual assault lawsuit in november diddy was sued for allegedly awarding liza gardner with singer songwriter erin hall when she was 16 in 1990 the lawsuit has now added jodeci member Devante swing as a co-defendant an amended complaint filed by gardner alleges Devante born donald de great was present during the assault. The complaint reads, unbeknownst to Miss Garner at the time, defendant Swing was in the room when this assault took place and did not take any steps to prevent this abuse from occurring. In May, a woman submitted a sworn statement in the case claiming she was a fellow minor with Gardner that night and saw a swing leaning against the wall or furniture or something, watching whatever Puffy was doing to Liza. In the new filing, she alleges Swing was 20 or 21 years old at the time. He is accused of aiding and abetting the alleged abuse. He served as Gardner's co-guardian co at the time because he invited her on the trip to the New York area with a group of her friends. They were staying with him in New Jersey at a house allegedly subsidized by Jodeci's label at the time, the MCA subsidiary Uptown Records, where Diddy was working as an a &R executive. The lawsuit claims Swing had a duty to protect the child as her parents entrusted him with her safety. He trafficked and or caused the child to travel across state lines from North Carolina to New York and New Jersey with the hidden intention of providing the child with alcohol and marijuana and prostituting the child to his a &R Diddy. Swing is now one of the lawsuit's defendants in causes of action alleging negligent infliction of emotional distress and violation of the MANN Act the Man Act, which includes a claim for transportation of a minor with intent to engage in illegal sexual activity. Last month, Diddy was arrested after grand jury indictment on SEX trafficking and racketeering charges. Well, rumor has it that a large amount of lawyers are representing hundreds of women who claimed they were assaulted by various bold name rappers, R&B singers, pro athletes, and actors over the decades, okay? Are you surprised? Don't be surprised. Many of those names and potential lawsuits have already paid hush money to settle out of court. So don't be surprised. Anyway, Missy Elliott, has spoken about the abusive behavior she suffered at the hands of Devante Swain back when she was in a group. And most people can't believe it took the Lord this long to catch up with him. And also, Stevie J from Love and Hip Hop had a fight with KC from Jodeci after he witnessed Devante smacking Missy, Timberland, singer Tweet, player Genuine, and tons of others. And I'm guessing Aaliyah too, because she was working with them back then. Stevie was working with Devante on production, but he says their killer producer combo came to a screeching halt one day in a Rochester, New York studio. In his interview with Drank Champs, which I'm going to play, Stevie said that one day they were all in the studio 
himself, Missy Elliott, Timberland, Genuine, Jordan C, and others when Devante Swing walked in with his cousin, bodyguards, and two pit bulls on a leash. According to Stevie, Devante walked up to the to each of the artists, his artists, and started smacking them. Stevie said he watched Devante smack Missy Elliott really hard in the face, then Genuine, then Timberland, and so on. Then he said Devante's cousin went behind him and smacked them again while they all stood there and did nothing. Stevie J said that Devante knew not to try that with him, but apparently Devante's cousin didn't get that memo. So according to Stevie, the cousin walked up to him like he wanted to deliver a smackdown, and Stevie was like, you better not put your hands on me, partner. Stevie says he and Devante's cousin started arguing, and that's when KC of Jodeci jumped in, according to Stevie. He then started trading blows with KC, Devante's cousin, and Devante's bodyguard all at the same time. The fight got so vicious that Stevie said somebody hit him over the head with a bottle. And that, he still has the scar over his eyes to prove it. As soon as the fight was over, Stevie recalled telling Genuine, Missy Elliott, Timberland, Tweet, that they were stupid if they stayed with Devante's label and continued to let Devante treat them like that. Stevie's words must have affected them because he said soon after he told them that, they all left Devante's label and started their own thing. Check out the clip, you guys. Oh, mm -hmm. All right, so, you know, Suge started managing Jodeci. Mm, wow. Right? Check this shit out. Yo, 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 check this shit out, though. Yo, yo, yo. All right, so boom. So, you know, I get a call from Devontae. You know, I'm working on the Jodeci app, but I'm really with Dalvin. Dalvin, my man. I'm, I'm rocking with Wait, Dalvin. Doing but, all the let's music. describe Devontae's the light skin yeah, one. Yeah, Devontae's the, the genius, then, the produ okay, producer genius. Dalvin is like, it's his brother. Supposed to be the gangster. No. Where's, where's Jodeci no. from, exactly? North Carolina. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so. Devonte, Usher Raymond, produce Usher Raymond, everybody's mm -hmm. shit. Fucking Madonna, all Word. that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? His brother Dal. Wait, wait, wait. You can't just say yeah, fucking Madonna. Yeah, let's make Madonna some noise to him. Fucking Madonna. Just slide it. over that shit. We can't just say that. All right. All right. Yeah, fucking fucking Madonna. Madonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, he's fucking Madonna. Yeah, yeah, I so, guess. So at the time, it was. Devonte had Missy, Timberland. Pour, pour the terrible Ooh. drink. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, Missy, Timberland, Player, Tweet, Sister, wow. G. Y. And Body Pharrell. Pharrell's probably there too. All right, so all of them was in the studio. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? He walk in, he's <coughs> smacking up everybody. Mm. Genuine, Timberland, Missy. But literally smacking them? Smacking them. No, sh Are we saying Devontae was the R&B yeah. show tonight? Yeah. Right, this is what we're saying? Wow. Yeah. Is this is what we're establishing right out. now? This is exclusive <laughs> shit, man. Okay, go ahead, please. Right, so I heard <laughs> this story before. So Almost. But to hear you say it, wait, wait, I wait, wait, definitely... It's exclusive. I want to hear it. I want to really remember clear. who told me this story. All right, go ahead. I'm going to tell you who else told me this story. Watch. Walking yeah. in the studio just the, randomly with the pit bulls. smacking it. Hold on, no, no, not randomly with the pit bulls. Oh. Damn, he he's, got dogs too? And with the bodyguards. He's Wesley Snipes in it? Yeah. yeah. What, he's, he's, he's saying... <laughs> You sit your five dollar ass down before it makes some change, and then smacking you—that's how he's doing it. <laughs> no, I swear to God, I heard this story before. I swear, but it, it's been—I it it, like swear I heard this story some crazy before. Shit right here. But all right, so boom, yeah. can't be smacking chicks and all that. Boom, yeah. so he get to me like, "Yo, you cool? You with my brother?" It's okay. You know what I'm saying? A couple chicks. No, 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 I mean like. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, but his little cousin come around doing the same thing. Uh, uh, uh. He gets to me, you know, like, let me smack you. Nigga, you smack me, I'm killing everybody. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wasn't even up back then. Right, I was right. slim and whatever. Right, boom, right. so I go to fight niggas. Whoa, 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 right. whoa. Niggas hit me in the head with a bottle. Boom. Mm. I'm fighting niggas. Got the cut over my eye. Not right Devontae. No, I don't want security guards. All right. 
But he, Devontae tried to thug you too? No, nah, he wasn't. It was his cousin. His cousin. Mm-hmm. His cousin. Oh, God. Damn. So Dalvin. Devontae. Yeah. There's a lot going on. So make a long story I'm short. I gotta shoot Devontae when next time I see him. <laughs> because I shoot felt like he, he tried to ask me for a verse one time. He was way too aggressive. <laughs> he was now I know it. why. All right, continue. I'm so sorry. So anyway, you know, after that happened, you know, the next day, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to Missy and Timberland, like, yo, yeah, y'all niggas still fuck with this nigga. You know. Yeah. But you are you down with Puff at this time or no, you're not? No, down? I'm not down with Okay. You know what I'm saying? But you don't like what's going on. At, at all. But right. you in Rochester, my hometown, when I can make the call on niggas. Mm. Right. Oh, you're in Rochester at the studio? Yes. Okay, continue. You know what I'm saying? Make a long story short, you know what I'm saying? Niggas all left them, Missy, Timberland, woo, woo, woo. Thanks to the guy having the fight. Right. Mm. What guy having the fight? Who had a fight? Oh. With Devontae? Yeah. Squared up with him? I mean, you know, fighting whoever I fought. I, it was like three of them niggas. But thanks to my fight, <laughs> I everybody... I like you won, because that's he, why you brought me up. He fought, I, I got out fight. of there. He fought the good fight. I fought the good fight. Good fight. Uh-huh. And thanks to that fight, everybody left. Genuine, uh-huh. Missy, Tweet, Player, wow. everybody so left. so you helped them get out of that situation. Right. Long, I heard man. this story before. I'm going to be honest. Real. You heard this? Mm. I heard Devontae was the show hey, so Mac, R&B show Mac. I swear to God, I heard Really? You know what I'm saying? Wanted to be. Yeah, yeah. So you watch the interview, and it's crazy. Men, women, were allowing physical abuse and sexual abuse just so they could make it in the industry, just for fame. You had grown men being smacked around by other men, genuine, Timberland, players, all of them. They did nothing while Devontae would just come in, smack them up, and his cousin would come behind him, smack them up as well, and they did nothing. None of them. Genuine didn't do anything. Timberland didn't do anything. Player they didn't do anything. These are men, and they allowed the abuse just for fame. So if the men were allowing it, so you know the women, they had to feel very helpless they were all being abused men women younger people because these people these producers these a and r directors you name it they are abusers because they feel like they are needed they feel like these people are desperate and they'll do anything to get fame so they abuse their power And it's been happening. This this is nothing new. Like Stevie said in the video, Madonna was sleeping with Devante. Well, Madonna is a, you know, a pass around. So Uh, even Pink, Pink the singer. Remember when she came out? People thought she was black or, yeah, they thought she was black or biracial. And I guess that's the route they wanted. But, yeah, when people found out, no, she's a white girl. But, yeah, it's because she was working with Devontae and them, Jodeci and them, on her album, her first album, right? So, again, these women, they sleep with these people, and they want us to think it was just all hard work. Yeah, it was hard work, all right? Being abused left and right. So that's why I always say do not envy these people, because they went through a lot. Just for the little fame that they have, they went through a lot. They sold their souls, pretty much, just to make it, just to be known. And a lot of entertainers are narcissists. And you know, narcissists love attention. They love to be worshipped. They love to be well-known. That's why they go to become singers, actors, you name it. They love it. That's why these celebrities, they okay with the abuse. They'll do whatever it takes. They okay with the abuse as long as the end game is fame. As long as they get their fame and they are well known and they are worshipped, they okay with the abuse. They'll minimize the abuse. They'll put it behind them like, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. But look at me now. Look where I'm at. Look, everybody loves me. So, you know. It's sick. Okay, check this out. This is a perfect example. 
So in 2022, Missy came out and says why she never felt pretty in Devante Swing's 90s girl group. She says, before I was a solo artist, I was in a girl group called Sister. We were under the legendary guy group, Jodeci. We was their girl group. The best memories from VA757. This was my early stages as a writer and a singer. Now I can't sing like B, Beyonce. And I was really insecure because at the time, I didn't see myself as pretty and amazing like my group members, nor the size that the industry mostly saw for artists. So through it all, she's still grateful to prominent music industry executive Sylvia Rohn for sparking the match that ignited the firestorm of a career's she and her mentors have had. She tweeted, I am humbly grateful for Sylvia Rohn for believing in us and Devante and Jodeci. You see, that's what I mean. They minimize the abuse. They put it behind them because they feel like they have fame. They are known, well-known, and they have the money. Okay? Again, even tweet. The singer tweet, look at her. She is friends with Devante, smiling it up like she was not abused by this guy. That's why I always say, do not worship, do not envy these people. What they went through, please, just to get to where they at now, it's not worth it. Okay, it's not worth it. These people are living a fake lifestyle. Now they all smiling in your face as if like, yeah, they have the best life. No, they don't. No, they don't. A lot of us are living better than them. A lot of us, we go to sleep very fine. They can't even go to sleep, these people. They stay up all night. They have nightmares. They have to take pills just to fall asleep. They stay high 24-7. They have to have people sleep with them at night just so they don't have nightmares because they always have nightmares, okay? So these people have done a lot of stuff and they want us to think that they are happy now. Everything is great. They work hard to get here. And now these people, the same men that abuse them, they're friends with, they're cool with. It's like, what? And you want us to be okay with that? You want us to look at these people that abuse you because you got fame and you want to minimize the abuse. And we're supposed to be like, oh, well, yeah, okay. It's fine. She's famous. Oh, he's famous. So it's okay. No, it's not okay. These people need to be locked up. So back to the lawsuit. The fact that Devante Swing was there in the studio with Diddy. While he was all wording this young, young girl, 16. This young girl who was 16. This guy was leaning against the wall watching Diddy all word this young girl. These people have no souls. These people are really freaking demons, okay? They are a vessel for demons, Because there's no way. You have to be really soulless to just stand there and just watch. And who knows what else he was doing. Because how do you sit back and watch this man? All word, a young girl. Well, all word people, period. But a young girl. And the thing is, he invited the girl and her friends to come with him to New Jersey. And then he took them to New York, to Uptown Records, where Diddy was an A&R executive at the time and stood there and watched Diddy violate these young girls, okay? And Aaron Hall violate these young girls. And he stood there and he watched. Monster. Just throw the whole industry away. Throw the whole Hollywood away. 
because Babylon is falling. I keep telling you guys, Babylon is falling. It is. This is sick. Huh, you guys, that's all. What are your thoughts? Leave it in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.